political parties for appending their signatures here in public, declaring their party's commitment to adhering to the code of conduct. This public act will undoubtedly add to creating a climate that is conducive to free and fair elections. You are role models for our people and thank you for doing that. I wish to also thank what we call the election team South Africa. Those are the women and men who as citizens of our great republic energize our democracy and its electoral processes. We are very proud of you and we dare not take you for granted. While we have worked together for many years, we want to extend our thanks for your resilience, untiring commitment to the country's electoral system because the, al the alternative to having a successful, credible, free and fair election is too ghastly to contemplate. I would like to thank the people who will be working at the uh, voting stations uh, come actually special voting day and right up to the 18th and the counting who will be spending sleepless nights. We, you have done your pledging. We also want to do our own pledging as the Electoral Commission. We also pledge to respect the integrity of the electoral process and to act decisively if any of our staff behave in an unprofessional manner. We promise that we will do that. We promise to serve all voters with dignity, with the dignity that they deserve. We promise to open and close our voting stations at the prescribed times and to make sure that those who are, on, uh, who are at our voting stations in the line get their right to vote. We will go all out to ensure that the diversity of our voters is respected. And this time, you will know when you get there that we have made a special voting mechanism for partially sighted voters with braille and large font to ensure that those voters also exercise their right to vote with dignity. We assure you that we will deal with complaints and uh, objections timelessly and professionally and we will listen to you at all times. We will ensure that the results are released within specified time frames and that these results will be handled transparently as the, we have done so in the past. The result slips will be posted on the door or on the wall. They will be read out at the voting station, at every voting station. And they will be scanned and be available on our uh, uh, website. They will be available electronically. You can all see them and the political parties will also see them. That is our transparency. We have accredited election observers and are very pleased as well that political parties will have party agents at our voting stations to monitor us. So we want to assure you that our elections will indeed be performed in a professional manner. I would also like to particularly thank the leaders and members of different political parties, especially those who serve in our PLCs. We have traveled the road together. We have traveled this road since we started the Electoral Commission, and we hold our heads very high because of the quality of people we have in this country serving our multi-party democratic dispensation. You make our work a uh, better you make our work professional by your, by your participation. To date, as your role as political parties, you have been exemplary 
and you will continue to be exemplary for future generations because they look up to you. We have noted the issues that have been raised this morning and some of these issues obviously we hope Parliament will deal with them. The example will be what type of an electoral uh, uh, commission do we have? Do you want an electoral commission that has got representatives of, of political parties? That is for the Parliament to decide and that is for the public to decide. But we hope and pray that once people are elected and are appointed to play this role as electoral commissioners, then we support them and ensure that they perform their function without fear or favor or prejudice. We also want hope that uh, some of the issues that have been raised here in terms of what it means to be a democracy in Africa will be a matter of public discourse for South Africans to decide upon. I would also like on behalf of the Electoral Commission to thank members of government who are here. Our DG, the chairperson, has mentioned you at, at the Department of Home Affairs and other uh, members who represent government departments here because without your help we wouldn't be able to run elections. There are times when we have floods, when we need the police, when we need the, the defense force to help us carry the loads of across rivers and across mountains. So we would like to thank them for making our work easier. We also would like to, work, thank, you, to thank our faith-based organization. As always, you have been there supporting us and praying for us members of civil societies and non-governmental organizations. You do your work because you love your country, not because civil society organizations have got lots of money, but they are always there doing voter education and already we have accredited quite a number of them to be observers in this coming election. We also would like to thank the media uh, we can never reach our 48 million plus South Africans. So we trust that we will continue to serve this nation and serve these parties well so that people can know what they stand for and, and also help us so that voters can know where to go, how to handle the special votes and all the other uh, issues that are important for the coming elections. We also want to take this opportunity to recognize our diplomatic corps that is here and our representatives of international organizations and our guests from Nepal. Uh, please, uh, you will remember that the diplomatic corps, you have a special dispensation to visit our voting stations uh, on voting day. That is open to you. We have also heard that you would like to have our code of conduct sent to you. We will make sure we have it in our website. And those who actually want hard copies, that will also be made available to you so that you can understand what the code of conduct stands for. And lastly but not least, I would like to thank uh, our colleagues, led by the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, other commissioners. As the chair has said, we play a different role. We have a commissioner who is not here, who worries a lot about issues of, of, of the, the rule of law, how we deal with all the legal issues. We thank him in absentia. Chairperson, thank you for your leadership and, uh, and, and, and that you have always provided to us. We would also like to thank our sister organization, Chapter 9s, that are here. This journey of entrenching constitutional democracy is a journey that is long, is a journey that never ends because the younger generation have, generations have to know what, this, what the pillars of our constitutions are and we have a duty to make sure that they adhere to what the constitution is about. We have in particular here someone we have to mention, the chairperson of the Municipal Demarcation Board. This is one person who spends sleepless nights with his team 
going all over the country to do the awards. It's a thankless job because you can never satisfy everyone. But we just want to say thank you for keeping to the time frames so that we could reach this point and be able to, uh, to, to meet the deadline given to us. We'll just mention other organizations that are here, women's organizations, traditional leaders, the editors fora, the youth organizations, the business sector, the tertiary institutions, the members of the judiciary. The list is endless. Thank you for coming here to be with us. And lastly, I would like to say to the Chief Electoral Officer, thank you for this wonderful program with your team. Uh, we, this is amongst the last occasion, big occasions that we are going to have. And we thank you very much for that. And the Tembisa Revolution, thank you for being with us. And let's go out there and work hard, kiss babies, political parties, dance, educate, pray, visit communities, and we all do that because we love South Africa. Thank you very much. Well, for those of you who've been watching us this special broadcast on SABC2, thank you very much. You are, of course, watching a live broadcast from Galaga Estates in Midrand, where the Independent Electoral Commission was uh, got together about 28 or so major political parties of this country to sign a pledge committing themselves to peaceful, free and uh, fair elections. Well, we're going to take a one-minute commercial break, after which we will get a sense from the Deputy uh, Chief Electoral Officer about what is going to happen next uh, in the next few weeks as we go towards the May 18 local election. Struggling to clean up your home with ineffective appliances that quickly lose suction? Clean your entire home in half the time with the revolutionary new Red Genesis Hydrovac Extreme from Berrymark. Incorporating the latest cleaning technology, Genesis comes with suction power never seen before. Where ordinary cleaning methods leave the dirt behind, Genesis deep cleans right through the carpet. Just look at that. Wash and dry your carpets quickly and easily, as well as your upholstered furniture. Even remove those dreaded dust mites from your mattresses. Its super rotating turbo brush lifts and vacuums up dirt and dust from deep inside the pile of your carpet and it's perfect to remove pet hair in seconds. Genesis Unique Water 6 stage filtration traps the dirt and the dust in the water and then super cleans the air. And when you're done, simply pour the dirt down the drain. The European manufactured Genesis comes with an incredible three-year guarantee. Plus, you'll also receive the easy-to-follow DVD. For a spotless, dustless home, get your Genesis Hydrovac Extreme for only 3999 from your nearest Berry Mark store today. much those who've just joined us you're watching a special broadcast from galaga estates in midrand where the independent electoral commission this morning did a draw uh, of political parties the order in which they are going to appear on the ballot box after which of course political parties 28 of them had to sign a pledge committing themselves to free peaceful and fair elections and joining us now is the chief electoral officer Ms. Pansy Tlakula if you can explain to us very briefly as we go off uh, in the next few minutes what is going to happen in the next few weeks in the life of the independent electoral commission thank you very much as we now know the order in which uh, the parties are going to appear on the ballot paper from tomorrow we're going to be printing the ballot papers and thereafter on the 15th which is on friday uh, we will open applications for special votes all people who want to exercise a special vote will have to apply at our municipal electoral offices and our municipal electoral offices will be open on weekdays from 8 in the morning until 5 in the evening excluding on public holidays and uh, applications for special votes will be open until the 3rd of May and special votes will take place on the 16th of May at our voting stations for all people who will have applied in advance who will not be able to vote on the 18th of May. On the 16th and 17th of May, we'll visit 
infirm people, disabled persons and older persons who will have applied for special votes. We'll visit them at home so that uh, we can exercise their votes in the comfort of their homes. Thank you very much. The independent electoral uh, officer of the IEC. Well, with that, we are going to end this broadcast. For those of you who have been watching this broadcast on SABC2, we say a very good afternoon and thank you very much for joining us.